So we just hit a major milestone in the stock market today. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Mateo. Let's take a look at what happened today. We hit 400 on SPY, which is 4,000 on SPX, okay? So 400 was tapped today, 410 right here on the 13 minute chart. Then you can see a little bit extra tap to 423. So 423 cents on the SPY ETF. After we hit that, we did take a little breather down, uh, which is typical with the market saying, hey, look, we just made a new um, all-time high in the recent you know, 10 days and the recent 20 days, right? This chart, I have 20 days of data for a 55-minute chart, so each candle is 55 minutes. Uh, if you're just joining, I have the price chart, Stochastic RSI, MACD, and DMI ADX. Those are the indicators I use to trade uh, through the day and then also through days and weeks. Uh, so this year I'll be doing some trades with you guys and showing you along the way. I don't want you to copy me, so I'm gonna do it the delayed, but I'm gonna show you the outcome of the trades that I make that are within the day and within multiple days um, and then maybe even multiple weeks depending on how the market's acting. So uh, this was very clear that we hit the new 400 high then we had a 3x, right? DMI crossed MACD and Stochastic RSI crossed around 1035, 1020. And then we proceeded to go almost band to band. And then we did that end of band at the end of the day. So usually when you see a tweezer top outside of a top Bollinger Band like this, you when you see this, this usually means we're gonna go band to band. We just about did it within the within 30 minutes of this happening. So this happened at 1022. Your candle entry was like right here, 399.32 or 399.13. You hold that until uh, you get to a moving average or until you see the indicator getting down below here, starting to curve back up on you. That's a good exit point. And even though MACD is widespread down, the histograms are starting to get smaller. So this is a nice chunk, a nice little exit here for a dollar move from 399 to 398, 397.60. So a dollar move on 10 contracts could easily be a thousand dollars, right? So let's just say you had a thousand dollars to invest here and you're looking for a dollar move. That with a thousand dollars at that time in the market could have been anywhere from 200 to 400 dollars profit right there um, maybe even as high as 500. now if you put more money into it right two or three thousand you could easily break a thousand dollars on that move now uh, when you're first starting out a good method is to use a dollar entry up you exit or a dollar entry down you exit but once you know how to read the charts and the indicators you can kind of take that a little bit further and um, finesse the exit finesse the entry depending on what you're trying to do and then i also wanted to talk about bitcoin today so bitcoin had an interesting move uh, lately so the market hit 400 it's kind of like that pause point everything is kind of tied together right um, cryptocurrency and the stock market are go hand in hand usually one leads the other um, sometimes Bitcoin leads the market sometimes the market leads Bitcoin lately it's been the market leading Bitcoin um, so as the market continues to go up so does Bitcoin so we almost hit 22,000 today and back right off of that from 21,725 back right down immediately when that happened 20 almost 21,100 so this is a big um, stopping point or slowdown or thinking point for the market and um, cryptocurrency in general so we just went so far in such a few amount of days I mean you can see this big jump right here where just on 111 which was last week we were at 17,000 now all of a sudden we almost hit 22,000 right that's like five grand in just a few days uh, in seven days, which is kind of crazy. So I think there's some statisticians that are saying that uh, I think Bitcoin's been up for 10, the 10 days in a row or 14 days in a row. It's about to break a record. Um, so that record might have been broken today because uh, that's a long time to keep going straight up. And the market is looking for a breather, right? So we did see something interesting today. I wanted to bring up NASDAQ 100, which is triple Q. And you can see that thing's been moving for a while as well. And um, you did see the slowdown on the 55 minute chart, right? We had a big white candle and a big red candle. This is called a tweezer top. It's better if these wicks match, but they're pretty close. And then we proceeded to kind of just trickle, trickle up to about halfway point and then sell off again. 
But what you see here is Q's actually finished positive on the day. Nothing else finished positive. So here's the tickers I look at, Dow Jones, Q, SPY, and then those three and their different um, rights, right? So the DJI, DJI, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Um, so that's really a larger number there with the actual the average, SPX, S&P 500 average, 3,990. And then the comp, dash GIDS for NASDAQ is 11,000. So these are the actual numbers. And then these are the um, the ETFs that match those. So I have those like that. And then your pro shares. And um, yeah, so that's basically kind of what's going on there. Also the five year, the two year, um, you know, decent to have up. So anyways, we're kind of just trickling along here. The market's taking a breather, but the interesting thing to see there is that NASDAQ has taken the lead and it's been a long time since it's done so. So thanks for joining today. I just wanna fill you guys in what happened in the market today. What's going on with Bitcoin? What's going on with Ethereum? Uh, we'll just pull up Ethereum really quick here and just show you the same thing has happened with Ethereum, right? Where we just went from 1200, 1100. Uh, I mean, it's like an overnight jump there, right? So from 1400, let's go back a little bit. So 1300 to 1600, right? $300 move. Uh, we're taking a breather now. We might go test this area that jumped up real quick here. Back to 1400 would be a good uh, test point because the market can't just keep going straight up. It's got to have some breathing room. If it keeps going straight up, it will throw up. Just like if you keep eating uh, at Christmas time or the holidays you will throw up as well. So thank you guys for joining. And like always, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to keep providing that value. Peace.